Hey there YouTube, it's Darren and look behind me. We got snow. It's October 24th and uh, we got some snow and my camper is sitting here in the shop. Normally I normally I have it down there at the end. I got my uh, utility trailer down there now and we got the camper sitting in the shop. Um, Cause it's not winterized and uh, my shop is insulated. So we, we put it in here and we're gonna go camping tomorrow. It's Thursday. Um, we're gonna head out Friday morning and go to Trinidad Lake State Park. So the camper's not winterized, it's just sitting here and uh, we're gonna keep it in here this fall. And we're if we get some nice days in November, we're gonna do some November camping. And so the camper's just sitting here kind of on standby. Um, so hey, we're heading to Trinidad Lake tomorrow morning and I think this snow will melt off by then. So Trinidad Lake State Park, here we come. Hey, so here we are, we're at Trinidad Lake and uh, boy today, Saturday, it's a beautiful day, probably mid 60s and uh, look behind me. You can see Fisher Peak. This is our view. I'm standing at my campground just a few feet from my camper and we got such an excellent lake view. Look at all that. I mean, beautiful. I'll spin you around here. Try not to get you too dizzy with the spin, but uh, there's the camper. And uh, I'm out here on this point and uh, snow's melting. We got here, there's about 10 inches of snow. But uh, boy, this side here, just an excellent view of the lake. Probably one of the best sites here. Um, for being able to see the lake and uh, we're camped on what they call the bridge and I know this side here has been booked um, it's it's booked all the time you can hardly get in here um, it's just there's a few sites here that uh, you better book six months in advance so we were just lucky enough to get this I guess when there's a snowstorm coming in you can get it but uh, last night uh, temperature got down to 25 degrees and the grand design did just fine. Um, stayed nice and toasty. We're keeping it 70 quite easy in there. We, we have noticed maybe the windows are a single pane. We're kind of wishing they were a double pane at this point. But uh, there she is. The Imagine grand design. We love it, folks. Love it, love it, love it. And uh, this side here, we have a lot of space. And uh, coming out here, you can see all these sites here are uh, on what they call the ridge and they all overlook the lake. Hey, so here we are. One thing I like doing, I like walking around looking at other sites when, when they're empty. And I'll show you this one here. This one's kind of nice, site 34. Again, this is on the ridge. This is about the first one you really want to try to book. This one back here is a pullout. It's not that good. And then the ones farther up, they are, uh, they're generally good, but they're on uh, gravel. And uh, a lot of these over here, look at the campground, it's empty. There's only like 10 sites booked up here. But over here you'll see gravel sites. And then for some reason, I don't know, on the ridge um, behind me and where we're at, um, site 34 up to 55, they're uh, asphalt. So let's walk in here, site 34. I kind of just eyeballed this one. I kind of liked it. And one thing, it's long. You're gonna get a pretty big rig in here. Um, picnic tables over there and uh, let me walk over here but look at that folks this is a long site in fact right here I'm at the edge I mean you could park a big rig and have room in front of it for your truck and uh, come over here a little bit muddy here but uh, come over here it's not the best view of the lake but uh, yeah you can see some of the lake back there so yeah site 34 is a decent site especially if you need a uh, you got a big trailer and uh, a lot of room to get in here with that. And uh, you know, it's crazy, 10 sites here this weekend. Of course, we have a snowstorm coming in um, Sunday. We're expecting, the forecast is bad. We're supposed to have winter all next week and uh, we're gonna get out early in the morning, try to get back to Pueblo before the storm hits. But uh, yeah, the funny thing about this, and I don't know, I guess it's snowing. But this campsite here is uh, Trinidad Lake State Park. It's booked all the time, uh, you know, during warmer months. And even just, 
we're October 26th right now and uh, why well, even a couple weeks ago they're completely booked here and uh, then the, the cold weather hits and uh, 10 sites out here but uh, you got to camp in some cold weather but uh, that's one thing about Colorado man it's uh, a lot of people camp it gets real competitive and uh, we've been watching some YouTube videos we just laugh you know we'll watch uh, some of the guys traveling around you know maybe back east Kansas Oklahoma and they'll say wow they're saying this back in September I'm the only one here at this beautiful lake and my wife and I we just laugh because out here in Colorado everything's you know we were through mid-October and all these state parks were completely booked in mid-October September October it's still going strong man so uh, anyway we're trying to extend the camping season and I think we're gonna head back to Pueblo first thing in the morning because there's another storm moving in uh, Sunday so uh, like I said, I'm gonna try to get one more trip in. Gonna put the uh, grand design in the shop tonight, or Sunday night, and uh, try to get one more camping trip in this November, maybe first week or two in November. So uh, got to uh, let you in on a little upcoming thing. I got a, a dry suit, a Stolquist uh, kayaking dry suit. So we're gonna do some winter kayaking. I'm gonna go over the dry suit kind of do a test and uh, try to make a few more kayaking videos for my kayaking buddies out there we've been kind of doing mostly RV stuff so if you're my kayaking buddy stick with me we're gonna do some winter kayaking and uh, I don't know give me in, in the comments what do you like seeing RV stuff uh, kayaking stuff let me know so anyway I hope you like this video um, I always like to see comments I always like to see uh, thumbs up and uh, please subscribe. It kind of helps me stay motivated to keep making uh, videos, seeing subscribers. And uh, anyway, guys, thanks for watching.